now in this lecture we'll make our own next keylogger so let's first of all see what is the main disadvantage of the keylogger that we made in the previous lecture so if i run this keylogger again then it is going to just get the key that is going to be released or pressed so this is effectively working in the case of a keyboard so let's see one scenario what if the user copy and paste to the respective field or the social media so if i just go again and if i just copy this again and if i'm going to paste it over here then if you go back to our keylogger it is not going to show us anything about this username and the password it is only showing us that it is control c control v that is being pressed nothing about this what we just copied over here so that is the main disadvantage so that is the main disadvantage of this keylogger so let's see how we can make or just modify this keylogger so there comes this piper clip so this is very important module so let me just copy this first and you can simply do something like open your command terminal and you can simply paste it over here and just press enter i have already installed so i do not need to just install one more time so you need to install this if you are installing this at the first time so after that you can simply close this and now you can also make use of ideally or any other module but um, you can make use of any other id that is the ideally or you can also use eagle or pycharm but in this case i really like this pycharm so i am going to make use of this pycharm so here what you're gonna do is we are going to make use of this piper clip so is to just get this field that is just copied and paste which is this situation in where our key logger that we just made in the previous lecture was ineffective so you can also check the piper clip documentation over here but i'll just take you through the coding of this piper clip in this lecture so first of all as always we have to import uh, this module and in this case it should be piper clip so this is been imported next i want to import the time because i want to just give the time to this uh, key logger so as to just record the key so next is i want to create the list this is list is because it will store the keyboard content so if we just uh, copy this from this clipboard so let's assume that this notepad is a clipboard so it is going to just create a list which will going to store this clipboard content which is basically this field or the name password this is going to be injected or basically it will be stored in this list which is empty for now so now we have to now make a loop so I have already shown you how to make a loop in the basic section of a python and this is going to be the infinite loop so here we have to make use of now piper clip and it is going to be paste so what we just did here so this is the method basically paste is the matter so if the clipboard content is not empty so what we're going to do is we are going to see first this clipboard content if it is empty or not in this case this method is going to be called and if it is not empty so we have to make the condition for that that is with this none so if it is not empty we are going to do something and that is to paste to the value so i are going to make the new field here with the value and piperclip dot paste so what you just did here was we are just checking the clipboard content and if it is not empty then we will just take its value and put it in this value field so that is a important part over here you can also print that but in this case i am not going to do that so next thing is to check that value if value not in the list so i have already told you before that this list is going to contain your clipboard content so it is clipboard content will be stored in this list which is empty for now so if the value is not in list that means we are going to make sure that the list value is not replicated if it is stored twice then we are not going to just put that into the value otherwise it is going to be append to the list that is the value 
so this is to just remove the duplication of the value in the list so this is statement over here so after that we have to now print that list so I'm going to print this list over here so next thing is to just make use of the this time module and I'll just say time dot sleep so I want to just sleep this for three seconds every three seconds this key logger will just generate this while true or basically this loop so we have now completed our code so what we just did over here was a simple payload that is going to first check if the keyboard or a clipboard is empty or not if it is not empty it is going to paste that value and if this is not the replication that this value is not already added in the list that means we are going to add this because this is a unique value we'll just add this to the list we are going to print that list and this is going to execute in every three seconds so this is a pretty much a simple payload over here and you could see that we just did here that is uh, piper clip and paste and we're just checking for the none and that is pretty much so if I just go over here and it's time to execute this uh, payload let's see if this works or not so I have to just uh, save this first and I have already saved in the main.py you can also run this same code in the eagle or the ideally you can do in any ID so now you could see I have executed and it has executed now so let's see if this works or not so first of all I'll just inject this John Doe let's copy this let's go over here let's paste it right here let's see in our Python then you could see right here John Doe at gmail.com let's see for this hey hey which is password let's copy this let's paste this in password field let's see this hey hey has also been captured so this is the email this is the password which has been captured by this piper clip module which is done over here so this is pretty much a simple module but it is going to do much more work so it is going to capture the clipboard content and it is going to just capture it and paste it in our list and this is the output of the list let me show you this is the output of the list in every three seconds it is going to execute and it is going to give us the result so it is going to just loop around in every three seconds and it is going to give us the result again and again after three seconds if you want to just terminate just terminate from here and this will be your field for the username and this is for the password so this is a simple payload that is going to just grab the content from the clipboard and you can just do rest of the things with this payload you can also make some modification to the content just converting this pi file to the bat file and you can inject to the victims machine so see you in the next one